Hey, what is up YouTube? It's your boy Gabe and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to talk about how I lace up my Jordan 1s. So, simplihan lang natin. Let's go straight to the point. Maraming styles kang pwedeng gawin para ilace up yung Jordan 1 mo. But, in this video, I will only share the three ways I use to lace up my 1s. So, for this video, I'm going to use my latest pickup, the NC to Chicago Jordan 1s. Kakabili ko lang sa kanya the other day and usually, pagka nakabili ka ng Jordan 1s, it would look like this. This is what they call the factory lacing. So, yung unang dalawang butas ng yung sapatos, eh, nakapasok na dun yung sintas. So, you can use that as basis to start your lacing. Pero, before we proceed with the actual step-by-step -step procedure, meron tayong rule na kailangan tandaan. Never choke your Jordan once. Huwag mo siyang isisintas to the point na parang nasasakal na yung leather, nasasakal na yung buong sapatos. That is a general rule. It doesn't look good kasi pagka sinasakal mo yung Jordan 1 and... Another reason why we follow this rule is because if you give the material enough room to flex with your foot pag naglalakad ka, it would help prevent the creasing, lalo na sa toe box. Always keep that in mind. Just make sure na hindi naman nahuhubad yung sapatos. Okay, now, step one is very easy, pero madaling kalimutan. Always make sure na yung haba ng sintas are at the same length. Pati ako nakakalimutan ko din to from time to time, lalo na pag namamadali ako. And pagka nandun ka na sa may top side and nakita mo na hindi sila pantay, mapapa what the hell ka na lang bigla. Kasi kailangan mong ulitin ulit yung pagsisintas. Okay, so step 2 is magsisimula ka ng mag -lace up. So if I'm lacing up the left shoe, I always make sure that yung left lace is over the right lace. Natutunan ko to nung nag rotc ako nung high school. It kind of stuck until now. Kasi every time na naka-uniform kami, chine-check kami ng commander namin. And minimake sure niya na pati yung sintas namin is uh, left over right pagka naka-left shoe. And right over left pagka right shoe. So it kind of stuck until now and I'm still doing it. Because it feels like it's a lot cleaner and nasanay na lang din siguro ako. So there are two ways to insert your laces into the holes. Other people do it under and then lalabas dito tapos mago over sila. But the way I do it is over and under. I'll show you that in a bit. So left lace over the right lace. Okay. And then habang sinisikip pa mo, make sure na flat siya. Hindi siya nag twist. Hindi siya nag twist na ganun. Make sure na naka flat siya. So ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyong over and then under. Ayan. Over. Over the outside. And then lalabas siya inside. So, over, under. So, other people does it the other way. Pero ako, how I lace up my Jordan once, this is the way I do it. And then, the next lace, ganun din. Ayan. Like this. Make sure na naka-flat yung lace mo. Hindi siya naka-twist as you pull. Gagawin ko na yung rest of the laces and then I'll get back to you guys. So as you move along, make sure na it's still loose following the the rule that I shared with you guys earlier. Make sure that it's it's not too tight. And one way to to find that out is you can insert your hand and then just flex it around parang pa. You can do this motion as well. You can spread it out. Okay, so we reach this part. Now, meron tayo makikitang insert dun sa tongue. So, this part, you can also put inside the lace. Sometimes you have to make adjustments from the bottom to to the top kasi medyo ma, ma, maluwag naman siya. So you just have to find that perfect balance ng pagka loose tsaka pagka tight to the point na hindi naman matatanggal yung sapatos. So I usually lace it up to the third eyelet before the last and pinapasok ko yung sintas dun sa second to the last 
and I just call this the bunny ear style and uh, I think you've seen a lot of people do that then a lot of uh, sneakerheads do this style then So this is the first style and this is what I commonly use. So now moving on to the second style. Basically, ganun pa rin from from start to the mid side. But dito sa second style na to, hindi ko nilelace yung tongue. So this is just a variation ng first style. But, hindi ako gumagamit ng bunny ears. This is where I tie my sneaker. So, there you have it. This is the second way I lace up my sneaker. So, yung una is bunny ears. And then, the second one is I tie up my lace. Now on to the third style. I use this paminsan pagka board na ako sa first two ones. I lace it up up to the second to the last one. So this is the third style. I lace it up to the second to the last hole, and then I just make a knot. Tinatali ko lang siya. Hindi siya yung usual way of tying your shoe, but I just make it like this. And I only use it like this pagkasawa na ako dun sa first two styles. That is how I lace up my Jordan once. Now we have reached the end of this video and I hope you guys learned something. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your notifications so you won't miss my next one. This is your boy Gabe, signing out. Peace!